Hi guys, I'm here today to demonstrate 4Pocket's latest piece of music creation software, Aurora. Uh, the demo you're looking at is running on an HTC Diamond, but should run on any 400MHz or better processor. It's kind of difficult to see what's going on here, so let's zoom in and take a closer look. Okay, we're going to create a simple drum pattern using a TR909 drum machine. Simply tap the grid to lay a note and tap again to remove it. In the case of the drum machine, each vertical position represents a different instrument in the drum kit. Each horizontal position represents the timing of the note. Okay, let's add a bit of percussion on a second layer. The idea here is to build up a group of layers, which we call a block or pattern. We can then later sequence these blocks or patterns into a complete song. Okay, sounding good. But I think we can improve this with a bit of echo. So if we assign a sync delay to bus 1, go into layer properties, pan the percussion to the left, and apply a bit of echo. Okay, now see how easy it was to create this drum loop. So let's go and listen to something a little bit more interesting. Okay, I'm going to load in a demo sequence. Now this sequence contains a number of blocks or patterns, each containing four or five layers. We can cue a block by clicking the block button and selecting from the list. Notice the display goes red to indicate that the block is not yet playing. Right, let's look at some real-time effects. The atomizer lets you dice and splice audio in real-time. Okay, let's look at XY mode. This mode allows smooth transitions between one voice and another, or sophisticated panning and filter effects. In this case, up is controlling the filter on the drums. And now you can hear left and right controlling the panning. You can set XY mode up to control practically everything, including effect levels. Up to now, we've been selecting the blocks manually. And as you can see, you get a perfect transition from one block to another. Once you have a number of patterns, you can use song mode to piece together the patterns into a complete song. You can transpose existing patterns and even add those transposed patterns to your song. Each pattern can have its own key and root note, so you can create chord sequences by just changing the root note of each pattern. You can also record automation on a layer by layer basis. This allows you to control things like volume and pan as well as cut-off and resonance for a particular instrument. Okay, 
I've only scratched the surface of what you can do with this program. I suggest you go and try the demo. You'll be surprised at what you can do.